So here's my Google Sheet, and here's the data that I want to um, put into my Google document. So I'm just going to highlight this area. I'm going to hit copy it, control C. I'm going to go to my document and I'm going to paste it, control V. Now here, paste table, there's an option to link it to the spreadsheet. So I'm going to leave that selected. I'm going to hit paste. And so now when you just click on the table, you'll see this link up here. Now, what is kind of nice about that, when, when I edit this table, um, this, and this is a form-fed uh, table, so if I, somebody fills in the form, um, let's just uh, be patient with me, my training, and you, you fill it in, you'll see it's um, going to update, but it doesn't update automatically. Uh, you have to click on the update in the documents, and you'll see that. So, so again, here here's some new data coming in. I don't want it that left there. I'm going to get rid of that. And in the document, I hover over it. See now that instead of just link, it says update. So you can go to your document every once in a while without having to go to your sheet um, or your form. You just click update, and that new data is put in. Now you can also, if you see in the sheet that I've created a... Um, a chart. That chart can also go into your docs. And to do that, it's a little easier. You simply hit insert, chart, and from sheets. Now, if your sheet has several charts, it'll sh all show them all up um, as options. But this only has one chart, so I'm going to select it, hit import. Now, you'll see when I click on the chart, there's the link. And if there's an update to the sheet, that chart will change. There'll be an update button here as well. So this is how you can link uh, your Google Sheet and data to a, a document um, and you'll get updates um, every periodically. Again, it's not automatic, but you have that option of clicking on update.